Hamilton, New York, snowy and all ready for a Patriot League showdown between Lafayette and Colgate. As the Leopards step in, hoping to break a three-game losing streak and spoil the senior day party for the Raiders, trying to go undefeated at home. It's next on the Patriot League Network. Three straight tough games for Colgate uh, against teams that are ranked and uh, tough losses for sure. All on the road. Mooney going to take a shot deep. This one, though, picked off. The Leopards bringing it back to the 25-yard line. Shane Black. And Mooney, for the second time in as many weeks, ends up throwing an interception. Had three last week. Yeah, I don't know if there's a miscommunication. Looked like uh, Greenewalt stopped on the pass there. And, and wasn't a great, great throw. It was kind of a moon ball inside. And, and Black steps up, makes the interception. And Jonah Bowman will come out to attempt what's a 32-yard field goal. Uh, one of the best in FCS. He's 11 of 12 on the year with a long of 43. Ty Edmond will hold. And not much surprise for Bowman. And Colgate is on the board first. Seven yard pickup on first down for Demetrius Russell. Mooney with time on second down. This one anticipated off the deflection and intercepted. Philip Parham. The freshman grabs his third one of the year. Opportunistic Johnny on the spot. Well, it's unfortunate for Mooney. He looks like he had time. He had he had Mataluna open. He just threw it outside and, and Parham with the great reaction there to, to get that pickoff. 240 pound back Wilkins in the backfield. And that's not a mistake. Lost the football though. And for the second time today, the Leopards opportunistic. Turning over Colgate, Philip Parham. Who else? Yeah, that kid's got a nose for the ball. I guess you could say that, huh? Absolutely. Huh? They're bringing the beef again with, you know, with Wilkins, and obviously he's a little loose with the ball there. Great job in knocking it out of his hand. And of course, mentioned the mono that's hit the the Colgate team, both Jake Melville and Grant Siegel, one of their offensive line starters, getting it. Hand off to Holland, and back to the end zone goes the freshman. First one of his career. Blow the hole open on the right hand side there, actually where Dom normally is, and uh, stepped up and got a touchdown. Colgate obviously did a great job on defense. Forrester on to kick. Colgate has blocked a couple this year, courtesy of Stefan. Hard agree, can't handle this one, and fumbles the football. Parrish Simmons jumped right on it. And a 10-point Colgate lead, but the Leopards now another chance to capitalize. Uh, another turnover by Colgate. Looks like the looks like the punt was short. You'll see it here. And Hardigree tries to come up and make the play, and he probably should have let that one go. Uh, wasn't underneath it, knocked out of his hands, and Lafayette came up and, and got the ball back. Their third time now inside of Colgate's 50-yard line that they've gotten a turnover. And they're going to try a field goal here. Same distance as the last one, 32 yards. And Bowman, once again, knocks it through, ties the school record for single season field goals. And with that, Colgate the 13-0 lead. Jonah Bowman can break the individual school record, single season with this one, and does. 14 makes on the year for Bowman, three of them today, and Colgate increases its lead, 16-0. The Raiders on top of Lafayette. Guess what, Matt? Inside the red zone now, we just talked about it. They haven't had an opportunity all day, and, and boom, look where they're at. And this will be their first one. Started at their own 45. Now down to the 14, and a touchdown! Dunk it! Favorite target gets rewarded. Third one of the year for Mike Duncan. Well, good job by Sear Foss. He pump fakes outside, and I think it might have been a fake to uh, you know to Sherman on the outside. Duncan just runs a slant right right behind the, the zone, and Sear Foss sticks it in there. And now it uh, looks like they may go for two to try to you know get within a one possession game still. 
Boy, what a day for Mike Duncan. Came in with 10 catches on the year. Now has eight for 68 yards in the score. It's not a bad line. No, sir. Sherman, the lone setback. Fake it to him and back to the end zone. Able to convert. It's the freshman Morazic. And just like this, it's a full one possession game. 16 8. It's Searfoss hitting that target. Duncan. They get the two point conversion. Lafayette within striking distance. Well, he's up to probably nine catches now, I believe. He's only had he only had ten on the year prior to this, so great job by him. And nearly doubling up the total and still plenty more time. First and goal, push back to the 14, but Searfoss into the end zone. Touchdown. It's Keller. The junior tight end, Brian Keller. And Lafayette is a two-point conversion away from tying this football game. Yeah. Searfoss is doing it again, steps up. Gets in the pocket and finds his receiver, holds on. Big touchdown within two again. Now they got to go for two once again. Try to tie it up. Ball right on that three yard line. And there's Keller, 21st catch of the year. First of today, I believe. Yep, and the third touchdown is the sixth different receiver. Rollout for Sear Fox, being chased by Figueroa, but able to get it in there. This time it's Vangelis. Tie football game. Wow. Great job by Sear Foss. It's obviously it's a sprint out, gets outside, almost gets you know, plucked from backside and finds Vangelis. He goes up top and gets it. Another two points for Lafayette. Ties the ball game up. So came in at 31% on third downs. Today they've had a really tough two of 15. Searfoss trying to lead his man down the sideline and is able to do it. It's Adams. First down, Lafayette. Wow. A big third down here. Searfoss is trying to find it. He doesn't know if he's going to run, but this time he just throws it up in the air. And man, Adams downfield runs underneath it. Just got behind Armiento. And man, what a pickup for Lafayette there. Brings him down to about the 20 yard line. And now they're in business with 14 seconds left in this game. And there's a look at Martin. Seven straight pass plays have brought them here. The drive started on their own 24 yard line. This will be from 31 yards out. Out of the hole to Searfoss. Martin for the win. Lafayette has won in Hamilton for the first time since 2006. Great kick. That's what they wanted. No time left. He puts it through. Beautiful drive. Well, what was the difference uh, in that second half? We, we talked about capitalizing. Obviously, you, you had some opportunities in that second half, and you're able to get back with a big third quarter. Well, there was a lot of frustration in that locker room, obviously. We passed on three opportunities. Defense are hanging in turn the ball over. We talk about staying together. Don't get down on each other. Don't get discouraged. And there's a walk-on kicker. Our, 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 uh, our kicker's at home, the bad ankle. That's a walk-on kicker right there, freshman, for the win. Well, Coach, uh, momentum uh, for you guys in terms of going into a, a big matchup now. You have two weeks to prepare for Lehigh. Well, I'll tell you, it's a much-needed rest with no buys. We got to get healthy. We got to get some more guys back. But this certainly is going to be a good two weeks to get ready for the biggest game of this college's uh, career. Well, we uh, wish you the best of luck, and uh, obviously uh, a great game for your quarterback, Blake Searfoss, coming in in relief. Uh, go enjoy it, and uh, go patch up that offensive line if oh, you can. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's Frank Tavani, winning coach today for the Lafayette Leopards. Their first win in Hamilton, New York, since all the way back in 2006. Snapped a two-game losing streak in the series. That will do it for us from Hamilton. For my broadcast partner, Ryan Venna, our producer, Steve Shaw, and our fantastic crew, Matt Martucci saying good afternoon from Hamilton. The final score, 19-16 in favor of the Leopards.